hello guys and welcome back to the channel so today in this video we are going to talk about how we can detect faces in an image file or in a video file so till now we have been uh, doing a lot of detections over person and we have also tracked the persons but now we are going to detect, uh, detect faces in a person image so what we are going to do is we are again going to use our same test video file and we will use models to detect the faces in the frames from the video file Unfortunately, the model which we have been using, it do not detect the faces. So for this video, we are going to use another model, which will, which is basically trained just for the faces. Uh, the, those models are again is the same cafe models, which is this one. So this is the cafe model, which we are going to use for the face detection model. The coding part of this particular uh, project will remain same, just like what we did in our person detection model. We just need to replace the detection uh, we just need to replace all the code uh, from the model from the person detection model to the face detection model so let me just create a new file i will name it as face detections and i will simply copy all my code from person detection video file to the face detection video file Okay, so as you know that we mentioned mobile not SSD model, but now we are going now we are not going to use this model. So I will simply clear this and will paste and let me copy the proto path. So this is the deploy proto THT file. I will copy this path and I will paste it here. And I also need to copy the name of the model file. and here now there are few other things so first of all we don't need these classes because the face detection model we are using it's not trained for different different classes it's only trained for faces only now apart from this what other things which we need to do is the blob which we are going to create will be a bit different so let me just remove this line and let me include some more code so cv2.dnn dot blob from image so this is done we have converted the blob from our face image we are passing the same blob let me just call it a face blob so that we are not very confused so we are passing this face blob into our uh, detector and instead of person i will name it as face detections so from the detector we are getting all the face detection and we are passing this face detections here so we will we are getting the confidence of the face and if it's above 0.5 we will simply proceed so in this case we don't need the index so i will remove this particular code and i will simply display the rectangular box so instead of person i have to do it face so from here we are getting the we are getting the uh, the face bounding box i'll name it as face bounding box and here also and now simply here we are just simply displaying the rectangle for the face so this is all the code we need let's try to run this code and see if it throws any error uh, i will try to run it again from our open vino uh, open vino environment so i will initialize the open vino uh, commands here which i will copy from my previous video which is the person tracking so let me just take these two lines now this will also initialize my code open vino and let's just try to run the code python phase detections.py hopefully it should work yes it's working fine you can see that in this case the we are getting quite a good speed around 11 to 12 and that is probably happening because the model we are using is not very heavy model it is only detecting faces but looks like something is wrong oh no it is working fine so we can see that as soon as the lady comes closer to the camera his her face was detected now let's wait for a few 
other persons to come and then we'll see if the face is getting detected or not so this lady is coming her face is not detected but as soon as these two persons comes a bit closer their faces will start detecting yes so their faces are now getting detected which means that our code is working perfectly fine and we are also getting quite good speed in this around 15 frames per second this is because the model we are using is not very heavy model and it's not using much of a cpu usage another thing to note is that for my face detection code you can see that i didn't change the code very much but it's just that i replaced the uh, model files and i just replaced few of the code here and there and it started working perfectly fine which means that you can keep your uh, detection code same you just need to replace the model files and you just need to make few changes in order to detect it persons or faces or any other kind of ob objects so that's all for this video thank you for watching it please like share and subscribe to the channel